you don't have tough skin, if you don't have craze, if you don't know people, I don't think you can survive Lagos. So. Like in this Nigeria, if you don't know anybody, you're just gonna die. Bitch, this is Whiskey's house. Welcome back to my channel. This is Talani Badge. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about Talani Badge. I suppose this video is gonna be more like a story time. Um, I just wanna talk about <laughs> the funny stories that happened to me in Nigeria. I have clips to add to this, so it's going to spice up the video a bit. It's not just going to be like they're just watching me talk and talk and talk. Even though I do look kind of cute today, I'm gonna pull out my laptop. I have the stories in there, my clips, funny clips. I don't know what I'm going to call this video. Maybe this is Nigeria because I want this video to get mad views. Okay, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, so I don't even know where to start from. My wig flew off in a pool. <laughs> so this trip to the beach was very spontaneous. It was like maybe 12 of us, some music celebrities and then well, I consider myself a celebrity, honestly. I'm a celebrity by association. <laughs> so from Lekki to the beach, you have to take a boat to get there. Mind you, I just mingling, talking, everybody socializing. Oh, you know, what's your name? My name is this, my name is that. What do you do? I do this, I do that. Hi. How are you? Hi. All right. <laughs> Off it, yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, before I knew it, they started giving us Henny. Shots of Henny, shots of Henny. Shots of Henny. We get on the boat, the boat is speeding. The first thing that came to my mind was secure the wig, secure the wig. I said, once I get to the pool, I don't know how to swim, so I know I'm not gonna get in the pool. I'm just gonna drink, be cute, take snaps. That's all I'm gonna do. So by the time we get to the pool, we're already motherfucking lit. When I say lit, Everybody let loose. At this time, everybody's feeling like BFFs. I said, Talani, whatever you do, do not get in the pool. Like, I'm feeling good, I'm making snaps, everything. One, two. I didn't really go to us in the pool, and I was standing. He goes, oh, come inside the pool, come inside the pool. I said, I cannot swim. Come inside the pool, come. I said, I cannot swim. Just put your leg inside. I sat down by the edge of the pool. I sat down cutely. I'm like, <sighs> drinking my little i don't know what possessed me to just say you know i'll just go i won't go in too deep let me just let me just move in small put my legs in get my body wet a little bit and come back and sit down then i entered the pool that's when i knew i fucked up ag was already behind me i said i'm wearing a wig i'm wearing a wig I'm not trying to dip my head in the pool he said just just dip your head small i said no i am wearing a wig before i knew it <laughs> see my wig just floating came off i told adekule gold not to freaking dip me in the water <laughs> and he dipped me and my wig just flew out i started flipping i said you see you see out of embarrassment i didn't even know what to do anymore I share it too. I share it too. not a lot of people saw it never again my braids to the beach mm. no more weave i'm not i'm not going to that embarrassment again so that's that this was another one where did we go we went to club 57 i went there with a girlfriend of mine so we got back to the hotel at this time we're staying in a co hotel both of us we got back like 5 a.m and then i had food upstairs i had like jollof fries i don't like eating cold food so i went downstairs to the receptionist like hello you know i'm trying to warm my food where's your microwave let me warm my food we don't have microwave here, and then he looked away. My head was like, boom. This is 5 a.m. in the morning, I'm hungry. So what is your name? He said, oh, my name is Ade. I started to think in my mind. So what can I do for these people to take me serious? I'm hungry as hell right now. If I pretend that my daddy is of power, maybe they'll give me this microwave. I pretended, well, I lied. <laughs> my dad was the governor of Ogu State. That <laughs> if they did not want my food, all of them would be in trouble. Watch what happened. <laughs> Felt like they were going to believe me, but Lola just kept on laughing. <laughs> he was telling me to go upstairs and go and read the policy book why they cannot give me microwave. This is hard in just I have food in my room. Let me warm the thing, go upstairs and eat. How is that a problem now?
Yeah, we. This is a beautiful ass bathroom. They don't know how to make things easy for people in that country. So, if you don't have tough skin and you don't have Chris, I don't think you can you can survive Lagos. So, they did not end up microwaving my food. They did not believe that my father was the governor of Ogu State. I went upstairs and I went to eat that cold food. Oh, oh let me tell you when I ended up in Starboy's house. Yo, I'm telling you, I didn't know it was his house. So, okay, so. <laughs> This story is crazy. What happened? What happened? I went to a couple of my friends' house. <laughs> we were supposed to go to the pool called the Dream Lagos. Is that what it was called? Dream? I don't know. It was like a big thing in December. So I went to their house and they were like, okay, you know, they want to stop over at somebody's house right quick to pick up something. I'm like, okay, you know, I'm in Lagos. While in Lagos, live your best life. Wherever you are going, please carry me with you. I'm coming. They say, okay, you know, cool. So we're driving around. We're in Lekki. We're driving, we're driving, we're driving. I'm like, where are we going? Please, we're going to be late for this pool. He said, oh, okay, we'll be in an hour right quick. I said, you guys want to stay in the car or you want to come inside? I said, I'm coming inside, Jerry. My friend said they chill in the car. So I entered this compound. I'm making a Snapchat. Like, okay, you know, I don't know where we are, but this is a nice compound. Oh, so we had to go in through the kitchen. Oh, my guy friends had already entered. And I'm rushing like, oh my God, what do they do? So as we're going through the kitchen, who do I see? Whiskid. Whiskid was just casually sitting down, cutting his hair. Everybody in there were like family. And then I was not gonna be the one like, oh my God, it's Whiskid, oh my God, it's Whiskid. I was so starstruck to the point of not even saying hello. I walked past him. I didn't even mean to be rude, but I was just starstruck. I'm like, oh, it's Whiskid, but I had to play it cool. I'm like, damn, I know my friends would like to meet him, but they're not here. Should I go and get them and tell them this is Whiskid's house or should I just play it cool, get what we're trying to get and just leave? I said, nah. If we leave here and tell them that was Whiskey's house, they probably won't believe me. Now I'm going to get my friends. I'm speed racing to the car, I'm speed racing to the car. Bitch, guess whose house this is? They're like, whose house? Bitch, this is Whiskey's house. I know he's your favorite artist. I know he's your favorite artist. Do you guys want to see him or not? So let's go inside, let's go inside. They were like, oh hi, you know, he was so nice. And we just kept him moving. We got what we wanted to, to get and we left. I'm like, damn. But what if I not come down the car? <laughs> We ended up in whiskey house. The food out there is organic, freshly made, not like America that everything is GMO, chemical up and down. I don't break out as much, my skin freshens up. Skin has never been this clear in America. Every time I come to Nigeria, my skin gets really clear. Then I go back and I start breaking out like a fucking pizza face. Acne gone, pimples gone. I know pimples and acne is the same thing. Don't come for me. If you want to eat correct Nigerian food, I like going to the local corners to buy like my amalag, beggar, and we do. Wow. Are you making this Did you? While in Lagos, live your best mother chucking life. Live it. They can go back to your country and they worry about any problem that you have. But while in Lagos, don't carry a problem on your head. Though. Anything you want to do, do it. Don't even think about it twice. I got so many shaku shaku lessons. Shout out to Timmy Boy. He gave me a couple of shaku shaku lessons. I thought I was killing shit i look back now and look like damn i was actually doing rubbish <laughs> give me that ginger eh. um oh i should tell you how my luggage got lost i thought that they actually stole my luggage 
They took their time to give me back my luggage. I was stuck in Abuja for a week. I was only supposed to be in Abuja for two days and I ended up spending about five nights because I was not going to leave Abuja without my luggage. I'm back. I got to Abuja's airport. They already giving me problems because I got to Abuja with my American passport. I go there with visa. I don't have a Nigerian passport because of the stress, which I'm probably going to get it before I go this time around. So they will not give me any kind of hassle this time around. Nigeria, they know how to frustrate you. What's your mission in this country? What brings you to Nigeria? Why are you here? What's your purpose? I said it's December. Write your address down. Let me know where you're going to be. I was done being polite. I said, excuse me, you can see I have a visa here. Do not question me anymore. Stamp my passport and let me exit from here. That's why they knew that I was crazy. So this camera on your neck, give me this camera on your neck. Give me this camera on your neck. Is it the fact that I didn't come in with my Nigerian passport or the fact that I have my camera on my neck? Why do you want my camera? Give me this camera now. We will confiscate it. I just had to change it for them right quick. I guess my voice was too mellow for them. But I, like I told you, once you show them you have Chris like this, they will just let you be going. Stamp my passport and let me be going. Give me that camera. Stamp my passport and let me be going. Before I knew it, two officers, three officers, four officers, five officers were on me. And low key, low key, I was starting to get nervous. Like, damn, what if they actually like try to like beat me up here. Nigeria is a lawless country. They could get away with just beating me up. But I still had to stand my ground and act like I was crazy, even though I was not about that life. It was like eight officers on me still demanding to get my camera. God bless this one man that came. He just came out of nowhere. This guy was heaven sent. I no, 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 you guys leave her alone, leave her alone. Then he tried to resolve what was going on. This whole issue started because I entered the country without a passport. I had a Nigerian visa. So really this whole issue is so unnecessary because all they had to do was stamp my passport and let me go get my luggage and be out of that airport. They dismissed me, I got my passport and I left. Now, by the time I get to baggage claim, there's literally nobody there. Nobody has gotten their luggage and left the airport. So I'm waiting like, okay, you know, my luggage is still coming. My luggage is still coming. 30 minutes passed, my luggage is still coming. 40 minutes passed, my luggage is still coming. Then I started to get nervous, like, yo, somebody has stolen my luggage. The bag attendants came to meet me, like, oh, you know, madam, what are you still doing here? I said, I'm waiting for my bag. I said, oh, all the bags have been out, though. No more bags coming out. Big, 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 big. That was my heart. I said, what do you mean? I said, yeah, there are no more bags here. If your bags did not come, it's like somebody took your bag or your bag did not arrive. Come fill out this paper. We have to call them all the way in Instable to see if your luggage is there. If your luggage is not there, then I'm sorry. Just giving me all these scenarios that I'm, I'm in Nigeria for a month. If I don't have clothes, I have to buy clothes all over again. What if I leave Abuja and they tell me they find my luggage? A tear just came out, out of frustration. Not because I was sad or anything, I was just frustrated. Like, why is Nigeria such a difficult country? I entered the car like this, my friends started playing music. I said, you know what, I'm not going to let the devil ruin this trip for me. I'm going to have a good time. Whatever happens, happens. If I'm going to have to buy clothes, then I'll buy clothes. That was my whole mindset. I started calling the airports back to back. I to get my luggage. They said, well, your luggage is not yet. Call back the next day. I called Abuja Airport again. Hello, this is so, 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 so. I'm trying to get my luggage. Where's my luggage? They said, well, we have no update on your luggage. I've got my face. My fresh, fresh makeup. Yeah. I couldn't even wear the wig I wanted to wear because of my outfit. This is the only outfit I have, guys this and i have an important day today why exercise patience exercise patience how long do you want to exercise patience for i'm supposed to be in abuja for just two days i already booked the flight from abuja to lagos now i have to cancel that flight they're not going to give me my refund nigeria yeah. sha, sha. i found my luggage after five days i was so excited i was super grateful i was humbled i'm so humbled hey you guys don't want to stand but everything turned out nice. I was so lucky to have kept my makeup, like personal necessities in a small bag in my hand luggage and I traveled with that, grateful. I had an interview with Cool FM the next day. I had to literally go in my airport outfit because I didn't have clothes with me. Just expect hiccups when you go to Nigeria. It's not like abroad, whereas they have a structure. Nigeria is lawless, Nigeria is behind. So anyway, um, this is Talani Badge again. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to Talani Badge. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.